Tapras Bansuzu! I'm guys and welcome back to another episode of you guessed it Brawl Stars where inside of today's episode we are actually gonna be doing something a little more different and that is we're gonna be looking at some brawler concepts skin concepts just a lot of concepts from reddit the r slash brawl stars subreddit there's a lot of stuff here you know brawler concepts ideas memes and it's great and I uh, got a couple of uh, ideas and uh, we're gonna check them out in this episode so how about we start off with the first one and that is Craig it's a brawler concept very nice <laughs> why does it only have 42 upvotes jeez so there it is Craig the fighter brawler there we go Craig was born blind he learned to see things vividly with echolocation but only in his teenage years he had uh, had he fully see things when he learned to play the drums his skills had made him become a professional drummer and ro in a rock band several years later Craig whacks the ground twice with his drumsticks hitting enemies grants him something called rhythm stacks I get it it's kind of like the inflatable muscles um stack the boosts from inflatable muscles from like Zuba the stackable buffs cool they're called rhythm Rhythm stacks. And the more stacks he has, the stronger his attack deals. Okay. And for a super, he plays a drum solo that deals more damage depending on his rhythm attacks. There he is. Looking good. We got offense, defense, utility. Look at that. The star powers and the gadget. Health, 6,800. Reload, 1 second. And we got the attack and super. Pretty sweet. Okay, now. We, we got some more pages here. Okay, that's not it. Alrighty, this is this is the juicy part. Okay, we got the attacks. We got the super so for his attack rhythm Craig hits the ground twice dealing 500 damage each tick if Craig hits an enemy with one of the sticks He gains a rhythm stack which increases his attack by 150 each stack Craig can gain up to a maximum of six rhythm if Craig has an attack without damaging enemies for four seconds He'll lose all his rhythm I get it. So they're not unlimited. I get it. Okay, so 500 damage each tick Okay, he hits the ground twice, rhythm. So he, he uses music, you know what I mean? Because he, as you saw in his description, he was born blind. And you know, I kind of like that because, you know, there's no discrimination here, you know? So what if you were born blind? You could be a brawler too, like everyone else. I like that. I like that a lot. Drum solo. Okay. Craig um, readies himself for one second and then plays his drum set for three seconds. So it's kind of like Frank Super, you know, he... When Frank uses his super, he kind of spins a little bit and then attacks. That's kind of what happens here. He just readies himself for one second. Dealing damage by how much rhythm he has every 0 0.5 seconds around him. Okay, so it depends on the rhythm. He can still move during this. Oh, unlike Frank, he can still move. Cool. 0 0.5 seconds around him. He can still move during... The yeah, yeah. His current rhythm won't deplete during it. Can't gain rhythm when damaging enemies during it. And he can't reload ammo. Uh, ammo during the super all right zero rhythm 466 per 0 0.5 seconds two rhythm yeah the damage increases I get it and the maximum of six rhythm so these are his attacks he's based off of music a lot he has the buffs and everything he's pretty unique if you think about it it's it's a great concept and now let's check out his star power speeding tempo Craig gains a 3% movement speed for each rhythm and can stack for up to 18% Three times six is, of course, 18, so that's pretty cool. Sound barrier. Craig gains a 2% shield for each rhythm. He can stack up to, and can stack up to 12%. Alrighty, so the more rhythm, the more shield, and less damage he takes. Now, the gadget freestyle. Freestyle. <laughs> Craig's rhythm won't decay for two seconds. He has three uses. Alright, and there's another slot for a second gadget, which doesn't yet exist. Nice. And we got some more artwork of him. Look at sweet. This is, this is such a cool brawler concept. And guess what? The next one is also a brawler made by the same person called I Ran Out of Ideas. I ran out of name. Names. Colette. Okay. It's called Sharon. See? Same person. Pretty, pretty cool artwork, too. Sharon plays always dreamed of being a pop singer, but she is too shy to perform when people around... When, uh around people. Sharon saved money to buy a microphone that can amplify her voice so people can hear it, no matter where, but even when she finally became a famous singer, she's still too shy to perform in concerts. Nice. Sharon uses her microphone to create sound waves in a very tight cone. Her super fires off a music note that once it hits an enemy, it will create a magnetic field that homes her sound waves towards the affected brawler. Jeez. 
Yeah, we can see she's very shy to perform. She's very, um, he's good at utility. Okay. Health 4480, reload uh, 1.5 seconds, attack and super. Alrighty. Compact voice, vocal attraction. Okay, okay, these are the attacks. It's kind of like the same, the same idea as Craig, you know, the same artwork, kind of, same style. Look at that. This is our attack here. Compact voice. Sharon fires three sound waves like a shotgun in a tight cone of 16. Each waves, each wave is doing 500 damage. Okay, okay. So three sound waves. You, we can see right here in the illustration. You got... Okay, it's a pretty tight wave though. You gotta aim pretty well to actually hit that. But good idea though. And we also got vocal attraction. Let me just do this right. There you go. Sharon fires, fires a music note dealing 1,100 damage to a target on contact and applying a magnetic field on the baller for 5 seconds. Look, there's a Jesse there, see? There's a Jesse, and that's the magnetic field, I suppose. The magnetic field makes all Sharon attacks home towards the affected brawler and increases the projectile's range by three tiles. If the waves are within the magnetic field's range with the same strength as homemade recipe. Yeah, you know homemade recipe for Piper? Yeah, when she activates the gadget, the next attack, you know, kind of homes towards enemies and increases the range. This is kind of it right here, if the enemy is in the magnetic field, of course. More than one brawler can have the magnetic field, and this projectile won't home when the affected enemy is behind a wall. Okay, okay. So, this is kind of cool. So, when she uses the super on an enemy and creates a magnetic field, you know, um, she can hit, she can hit the enemy a lot uh, easier. Nice. Polarizing force. Brawlers with a magnetic field gets, um, yeah, the English here is great 168 damage per second over the course of the whole super alrighty alrighty so basically when they're in the magnetic field they don't take that much damage but they can't heal because they're taking damage cool it's kind of like lose it's kind of like lose super water pressure brawlers affected by her super will have their range reduced by 10 percent for three seconds after the initial effect okay so reduced range mm, that's fine reverb sherman's attack fires twice in one ammo for three seconds. The attack, the second attack deals 25% of the main attack's damage, has three uses. Okay, okay, she fires twice in one ammo. That's quite the gadget. And of course, there's no second gadget for now. Pre pretty sweet, actually. This could be a new brawler. Come on. We need the supercell now. On to something else, um, and that is a skin. So, it's called. Hawaiian Nita. You know uh, Supercell uh, release is gonna release like a make campaign for a summer Nita skin. You probably know that. And um, look at this. They're already um, the Reddit boys are already coming up with concepts, which are very nice. So Hawaiian Nita here. We got three of them. Pretty nice. I got her in the front. I like that it's kind of like a 3D model that you can see. I mean, it's pretty simple. You know, the bear. She has the happy bear hat. You know. I don't think like this will make it because it's just so simple. You know, there's nothing, there's not too much to it. But if it's the theme, it's summer, it's Hawaiian, and it's pretty cool. But you know what we need? We need Bruce. Where's Bruce? Where's Bruce? And a pineapple for the head instead. Ah, yes, the real prime minister. Indeed, indeed. This was made by um, Louis C uh, C Z here five hours ago. Shout out to him. Now. Another skin concept for Nita, and that is the Summer Splash Nita, Shark Nita, Shark Nita Final Concept. Now, this one is a little better. It's made by Eric Imperi Imperial. Shout out to him again. And look at this. It's pretty sick. It's pretty, uh, it's pretty sick. You got Nita there. I mean, the hat is kind of, uh, the proportions aren't exactly, they don't really work, do they? But <laughs> it's a nice, it's a nice idea. You got the shark head. You got everything. And we got <laughs> <laughs> Bruce just looks good, dude. This guy is just the main thing about this concept. You know, you got the shark outfit and the cool glasses. My man is even more chunky for now. Vote for us 9th April on Supercell Make. Pretty nice. So I think they will, uh, Mr. Eric Imperial will actually release this on um, the Make campaign. Pretty cool. So this is the concept. Great job. Great job to everyone so far. Th they're great. And now, we got gadget ideas, woo! We got gadget ideas for Stu. We got one and uh, two right here. Two gadget ideas for Stu. So uh, we're gonna check them out right now. Let's see. For the first one, TSF. I don't know what that means. Don't say it in the comments if it means something, I don't know. So 
The icon is actually pretty sweet. Stu's next attack contains a sticky firework that can stick to the floor, wall, or enemy. Explodes whenever you press the gadget button again, dealing 1150 damage. Charges for match 6. 3 times 2. So, uh, basically, it's kind of like, um, it's kind of like the sticky bomb from Fortnite. You know those sticky bombs that you just, bombs that you just throw, throw to someone and they stick on that guy? Kind of like this, and, it, and you can activate it whenever you want. It doesn't explode after three seconds, inevitably. This is kind of it right here. Pretty, pretty nice. It's kind of like Fortnite. I like the idea. And now the second one right here, which is, it's very simple. It's the simplest of simplest. Stu gains an extra armor shield with 1,200 health. He gains 1,200 health. It's like Sponge for Frank, but a little better, I think. So, uh, the icon again. The icons, he's, uh, he's well doing good here. Made by Pog. <laughs> uh, that's so good. So a helmet gadget would be way too OP. He's already a pain to deal with at 800 plus. I mean, he is pretty strong though. I I, I could say that. So I think the first gadget is better than this. So um yeah, for, the first gadget is definitely better than this. It's just it's just so simple, you know. It's so simple, but it, it could work. I don't know. TSF. Great. So my favorite thing out of here has got to be the Craig concept because come on, dude, he, he epic. He epic. I like the stackable part about him. You know, he's just just has the rhythm stacks and it's so it's so unique and good and I like it. Right, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Like me, leave a like if you did, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Bye bye.